Alright, welcome to another quick tip tutorial. This time bringing you a quick hard surface creation technique using paint, retopology and polish inspired by the Lucas Lima tutorial. So yeah, this is pretty easy to follow along and let's get right to it. Now first I'll go through the recommended actions in the tutorial, but I'll also show some extra stuff at the end of the video just to round out the information. Alright, so first up you'll need a mesh with hard surface capabilities and after that I'll select the paintbrush BPA and make sure the colorize option is selected so you can actually see the paint and also make sure the color selected is pure black. After that I will paint along the borders of the mesh to indicate the boundaries of the polygroups for the mesh. Oh, and we can also make sure that the mesh is one polygroup by pressing Ctrl W. If your mesh is pretty low poly you can also use Sculptress Pro in conjunction with a small brush to create clean smooth lines instead of dynameshing over and over again. After you've established the borders, you can go on over to Polygroup It under Z Plugins and click on Polygroup It from Paint. This process will take a second depending on the mesh size and number of borders and when it's done, it will give you polygroups from the painted areas. Now that's just the first step, we're not done yet as this mesh would not be considered hard surface. So I'll go on over to Deformation and select Polish by Groups with the circle closed. I'll explain what the circle does in a second but the Polish by Groups will polish the mesh so that the borders aren't as jagged. After that I will go on over to Z Remesher under Geometry and this will remesh the mesh depending on what you want. In this case I will click on half and keep remeshing and polishing by groups until I'm satisfied with the mesh. Alright so the circle thing next to the polish button means it will respect the geometry's forms as best it can. Now when you click on the dot it will change into a circle. This means it will keep polishing without regard for the forms. By the way, this is the case anytime you come across the circle and dot menu. Circle means complete disregard for the form, while the dot means it cares about the form. Another thing I do with hard surface stuff in ZBrush is use the dynamics menu over here. You can crease PG so all the areas you designated with the paint is creased and then you can change the crease level to something like 2 and then change the subdivision level to something higher like 3 or 4 to get smoother edges. By the way, the lower the crease level, the smoother your edges will be and the higher the number, the sharper they will be. And finally, you can apply the dynamic subdivision using apply over here so that the subdivisions are now real. Remember, dynamic subdivisions are just dynamic, they are not real until you click on apply. Alright, so that was the main tutorial, but here I'll talk about the other two functions we see in the polygroup it menu. First of which is the border function. Now all this does is it creates a polygroup from the actual lines you draw using polypaint. That's it. Now that's obviously super cool for anyone that needs a complex design on a complex form. And last we have the polygroup it function itself which will bring up this plugin menu and yes the controls are slightly different because ZBrush. All you have to do here is select an area you want to polygroup and it will then bring up a sphere which you can adjust the threshold of. This works based on the geometry aka the change in surface topology to figure out the boundaries of the groups and not via painting so it's a different method here. Now this method can sometimes miss complex forms and areas when things get a little too crazy. By the way, the functions here on the left should be pretty self-explanatory, but just note that the clear function will clear all the points you've established and you can't undo actions in this plugin, so just be careful with this one. And yeah, that's about it, so if you guys want to learn more, you can check out my new website, my new blog, or join the Discord, and yeah, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section, and I will get you in the next one.